What's up, Mena Nerds? This video is all about the Imperial Dropship Transport used by the Galactic Empire. It was manufactured by Rathana Heavy Engineering, the same people that made the low altitude assault transport gunship used by the Republic during the Clone Wars. Its cost is unknown, but at a length of 16.8 meters, or 55 feet, it was a Jawa shorter than the LAAT, while at a width of 20 meters, or 66 feet, it was a Wookiee plus an Ewok thinner than the LAAT. And at a height of 9 meters, or 30 feet, it was nearly the same height as the ATST. The armament was similar to the Republic's gunship, with a pair of mass driver missile launchers, two light laser cannons, and two medium laser cannons, which were all operated with a single gunner and pilot. Its designers at Rathana went for a combination of the LAAT and the Lambda shuttle, as evidenced by the extended cockpit area and large troop and cargo hold, that allowed it to transport 18 stormtroopers at a time. This is more than twice the amount of passengers that could fit in the U-Wing, but little more than half that of the LAAT gunship. The IDT was released in the final year of the Clone Wars, in 19 BBY, making for an interesting transitional time, where the hangar bays of Venators were now carrying the new Imperial dropships, before the mighty Clone Wars Star Destroyer was also phased out, in favor of the Imperial class. Not long into his reign, Palpatine was nearly killed by assassins, and the culprits of this coup were tracked to a derelict Venator, before the fallen Jedi cyborg discovered that they had taken an Imperial dropship to a nearby moon, where Darth Vader found them, and relieved them of their bodies. Later, some would be used in attempts to pacify Felucian warriors, where Galen Merrick happened to be looking for Senator Bail Organa, and if I read you a quote from an Imperial trooper, you'll see how the average Stormy loved the IDT. The quote reads, I've seen some impressive things as a stormtrooper of the Empire. I've seen Star Destroyers tear apart a battlecruiser with just tractor beams. I've seen command ships so big they take three days to walk from end to end. But I think the greatest thing I ever saw was those squat little dropships flying out of a binary sunset loaded with reinforcements, ammunition, medical droids, and food. This quote is both incredibly badass. I really want to see a tractor beam used like that on screen but it also addresses how this ship was essential to maintaining the daily upkeep of the Galactic Empire. They were also popular on Raxus Prime and Cato Nymordia, but saw the heaviest use during the Rebels' assault on Kamino, where, again, Starkiller destroyed several of these ships. So that's it for its history, and the only cool behind-the-scenes fact is that the IDT is canon via the Star Wars Commander game and junior novel Adventures in Wild Space, The Rescue. And this ship does not appear in the PS2, PSP, or Wii versions of the Force Unleashed. There is also an MAAT gunship, but there isn't too much information on it, and though it was made by the Empire, it does have a close resemblance of a mix of an LAAT and an ARC-170, with the only real difference between this and its Clone Wars predecessor being that the MAAT could fly in space, something that standard LAATs could not do. So that's it for the Imperial dropship transport, but most important of all, remember, it's hard to replace the LAAT, and the force will be with you. Always.